Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how the iTac, and this is the iTac Ethernet version, uh, they have a Wi-Fi version, and there's other devices, but specifically the iTac Ethernet version, how it integrates with the ISY. Now for a long time I've been touting the device and telling people, oh, you got to use an iTac, and I had never spent the time to actually do it myself. I've worked with the IR codes, I've worked with network resources where somebody else had already done it, and I've come in and done programming in the ISY. Um, so I'm going to take the time right now just to go through and show you how to do it. It's relatively straightforward. You're going to want to go to Global Cache's website and go to their download page. You can see the URL up here. And there's two things you're going to want to download. One is the uh, iLearn and the other is iHelp. And you can find those on the download page. Now I've already got both of those open. So let's go to the iHelp. And what it does it's similar to the type of tool you would have if you had a network camera where it goes out and looks on the internet trying to find your camera IP address. Here's mine, 192.168.0.51. So the thing I'm going to do is I want to go here and switch the learner to an iTAC learner. I want to change the IP address to 0 0.51 and then connect. All right, hey, it went out and found it and I'm connected to an iTAC. And now I want to take an IR code and what I'm going to do is point it at the back of the iTAC unit. I've got it connected with an IR uh, blaster and I have a network cable plugged in with the power cable. It's right under where the power cable goes there's a learn option. Um, a little window, small, well not really a window, it's a small dot. Um, a hole almost looks like a reset hole it's actually where the IR is received, and I'm going to push the button, which is the power button for my TV. Alright, you see the code popped up? Then I'm going to click the edit button. Now it puts it in to an edit view window that I can actually copy and paste it, but if I want to give it a name, give that button a name, I can. I'm just going to call it, let's say, button 2. I'll go ahead and save it. All right. And then, I'm going to copy it. Now, I do need to have an ISY that has a network resource manager. And, I already have one that I've done here, but in the Network Resource Manager, I'm going to click Add, and then I can give it a name and call it Test. Then I'm going to go here. I'm sending TCP commands. Then I'm going to want to put the IP address down, 192.168.0.51. All right, and the port for this, I'm going to need to edit the port, 4998. And then I'm going to change the mode to C escape. Now I'm going to paste what I had copied, and I'm going to just do a control V. And then you need to go all the way to the end. You're going to put a comma, put a slash, R, comma, slash, L. And then I'm going to hit update. That should push it over to this side. This is what actually now is going to be sent. I'm going to hit save. Now I have a resource. Now I'm going to look at one that I already did, and you can see comma slash R comma slash L and the N was actually put on that was put on um, automatically when you actually switch your uh, update it this is the format it puts it in and it, this is what it's going to add at the end the ISY will do the translation that's needed anyhow I'm not concerning myself with that but what I do want to do then is just test it so these are both exactly the same and 
Um, you always want to make sure to hit save too when you're done. Then I can go and run the test function. And what it's going to do is send out that IR command. And you'll get a response back and it says, hey, complete IR. And I don't know if you heard the background, but the TV went on. And I can send a command and turn it off and I get the response back. And that's it. Pretty straightforward, relatively simple to do.